Griffin says, you are now live. Oh, my God. Lynn, what's going on, Lynn? The spirit? Girl, you see that glitter. Girl, I see the glitter right now. If I ain't seen it earlier, I sure see, see that glitter now. right now. Glitter. What's up, everybody? Hello. The call-in number for tonight's show is 515-604-5555. Oh, oh, access code. Access. Access code. 982 884. Yeah, 884. What is it? 515 604 9300, access code 982 884. Right, yeah. Jamil? Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, post. Okay, now pin. Come on, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, comment. All right, all right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead on and do the call in. If you missed the show, honey, it's still. It, I'm looking at it. It's same processing right now, honey. You know that you guys can get the uh, get get. Ooh. It's prosperity. It's pros. Who? Prosperity. Listen, I can't put you and Miss Mary together because y'all <laughs> y'all will fuck up the church's <laughs> word. Prosperity. Did you guys enjoy the show? Hi, S. Hutchinson. What's going on, baby? Hello, Ratchet TV. Yes, yes. So, Lynn, did you enjoy being here tonight? Did you have a good time? Man, I had a beautiful and amazing night, and I'm just so happy and grateful in so many ways. Yes, I'm going to actually download the show, and I'm going to send it to you so that you can put it up on your yes. I do. I usually give the show to everybody, but... Everybody don't post it, you well, know. I'm gonna post this goddamn shit. <laughs> all the gums that I have in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> now, Lynn, uh, earlier you you and I were talking on um, on the podcast, and mm -hmm. you shared a lot lots of amazing things with me today on the podcast or whatever that I found out. Now, who is it? Miss Mary. She left an onion there on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I did. I asked. She did. It's okay. It ain't hurt nobody. <laughs> Y'all, right. listen, Miss Mary's most beautiful self is sitting it, it over there. It ain't hurt my peace out. Oh. Peace. Be still and move out. It ain't hurt nobody. Miss Mary's right. sitting over there, honey. Oh, look hey, at mama. Yeah, that was her spoke to you. You was like, hey. It was just like, I ain't hey, doing it. Hey, mama. That was very cold. She didn't, he didn't know it was you, mama. I know he didn't know it was you because he loves you. I didn't. It was far away. It was far away. Mm -hmm. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, hey, did you guys enjoy the show? He said, hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Jamesh, you, you done hurt mama. You done hurt mama feelings. She's sitting over there like, because she felt like the two was like, hey. Because you, you, know you know I told her what's going on. Y'all, ladies and gentlemen, Jamel is quitting the show, y'all. He don't want to. He don't want to take the call no more. Don't he do that. He, mo mm -hmm. he moving on the, the, fur the further in his career. So we got what? Listen, I'm not gonna stand in the way of nobody's career and things of that nature. So this is our last month together on the show, but he may be back. I don't know. It all depends on how he feels. But he's always welcome. He is always welcome here. This is the house of the Lord, and in our house, you're always welcome. Not like that man in Chicago. Okay. Now listen. Now we tonight we talked about we, we really tonight we really 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 talk heavy about the situation that transpired in the church house. And we had two great conversations from the from some folks that was out in the in the from Busy and from Mona. We had some we had some great uh, debate uh, about it. Mm -hmm. But Lynn actually said that this has happened to her in the church before because Lynn, uh, do you identify as a as a boy or a girl? Boy. I, it might sound weird. To the I got to move this close so they can see that glitter. You identify as a boy? Or, oh. Well, you so you just very gender non-conforming. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I know what I got down there, you know, but they don't know, you know. And but, 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 okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> got that dick down there. <laughs> So Lynn, but I, I mean, I, I, I guess it's weird because I guess it's probably weird because like he's a boy, but he dressed like a girl. He looks like a girl, you know. But I mean, to me personally, my opinion, like 
Yes, I look like a girl, and I may dress or whatever the case may be. You actually look like a woman. <laughs> woman, okay. A, a lettucey song. A woman. A what? A woman. What, Leah? He says, Papa. Oh, what, Lynn? Mama. Lynn, oh, what? Mama. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, words are just words to me. They're just words, you know? They do not define me who I am. I'm, they're just a word. They're just a word that doesn't really mean nothing to me. It may mean something to the community, but it doesn't really mean anything to me. They're just a word. So, but a woman is more than just a word, Lynn. It's self-expression. It's it's who you are. It's mm-hmm. it's which bathroom do you use? Speaking of which bathroom do you use, Liz? Honey, I go where the dicks are. Cause it's too much that I see up in there. So has a man ever pulled his penis out and urinated? Well, head? yeah. You know, you now when you pissing, you don't want somebody to see, but you can tell when you want somebody to see it when you piss. So they, so they actually backed up and you saw. Oh yeah, and I caught my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Lynn. Wait, Lynn. Wait. Lynn, what is it that you do with your eye? I cock it. Because you're a what? A woman. A what, Lynn? A woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even when I go in the, in the in the men's bathroom in the gym, you know, they be looking like. So wait, Lynn, you be in the gym with this twenty seven piece on? With this piece on? <laughs> with this unit girl? Oh no! <laughs> no, Lynn. With this unit girl that I had purchased, you know. <laughs> Authentic, honey. Look at that. Girl, you see that glitter? Do you see the glitter? Do you see the wig? Do you see the spray? I just got you see it, girl. What? Sing a woman right now, Lynn. Just- a woman. You what, Lynn? What you is, Lynn? Sing it. A woman. get to what we talked about with Doc. <laughs> Lynn. <laughs> Ooh, girl. Lynn. <laughs> now, now that, how you supposed to be living it, right? Your best life. Lynn, let us talk about, let us talk about, because we don't want people to think that we're making fun or what, but let us talk about what it is, what is the clinical term that you that you you have have, okay so a lot of people always ask me what does he got what is it you know um it's called if I'm gonna say it right cause y'all hoes be like to be correcting bitches but correct your goddamn self okay so it's called acto dermal dysplasia (laughs) goddamn I can't say that right but acto acto dermal dysplasia if you Google it, it'll give you the right crack one, I bet you that. And the first picture you're gonna see is a little white boy. Little white boy, teeth, you know, all that fucked up and stuff. And, you know, bam. <laughs> but so, my, my teeth didn't available. Because my grandma hit my mama with a frying pan, which is true. Mm-hmm. She did. She hit my mama with a frying pan. So the doctor told her that I was gonna be born different, which is that was correct. Wait, so friend. your grandmother hit your my mother with, with a, a frying, frying pan? pan. And it gave you act, actoderma dis- dysplasia. Dis- no. Well, you didn't give me that, but... It's a genetic. It's a, just, it's a genetic. It's in the men. It's, it, it, it draws from the men, then it goes from the women. The men pass it down to the women. Mm. It's like a very rare disease. Like, white people have it. Um, it's like a very... You, you grow sharp veins, like vampire teeth. Like my nephews, they have vampire teeth. 
very sharp, very big, whatever. So it's like a very weird disease. So have can you spell it? Oh, I couldn't spell it to you or for Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever had tea, Lynn? No. <laughs> no, I just... They, they never... That's a good question. They, no, they never develop whatsoever. Like, never develop. Not a tooth, not a pick, not a toothpick, not a nothing. <laughs> or he don't sweat. Yeah, I don't sweat. So in the summertime, that's a good thing. No, nigga. Nah, he overheat. In the summertime, I get very hot, so I have to stay cool in the wintertime. This is my the wintertime is my summertime. This Mm -hmm. is the best time for me to come outside and be free and you know because I get so overheated and I I either pass out or faint or have a seizure. So it's like so you had a seat. So when I was a kid, I had bad like I used to have seizures or whatever because the doctor Mm -hmm. they couldn't figure out. What genetic does I have? Whatever. Okay. And <laughs> it's different because a lot of people really don't understand, you know, active dermal dysplasia because they think like oh, I've never heard of that, you know. But it's like a really rare disease, but it really is, you know. And it makes your skin look different. It makes you look different, and it's just like. But you still look like a what? Oh, mama. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And you still can suck a what? Good day. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But you know what? When I, as a kid growing up, I didn't, I didn't know who I was as a person, you know? And as I grow up, I begin to learn myself. I still talk to myself because I just like it's good to talk to yourself to learn yourself, you know? Okay, so... Has this situation that happened to the gentleman at church, this this has happened to you before at church? Yeah. And you pulled your wig off in the church? I put my I put my, my wig on, you know, just to show him, like, I'm a guy, you know, whatever. And he told me, you know, if you can't dress like a man, you know, you should be, you know. So that situation, it hit, it, it touched close to home for you. It did. And on a serious... You may not want to go to church anymore, you know. So on a serious note, this is exactly what we were talking about in there in, in on the show. You know, busy busy stated that he needed to know both sides. Mona stated that she would that she was um she was very concerned about losing souls. And you know, both of you guys had great points to the situation. However, for me, you know, I, I do see it from both sides. I still think he was wrong. I do yeah. think that he was wrong but for I don't that. Like for people to clout chase and be like, pretend like, oh, I'm gonna ride off this story. But story. I don't. Okay, but I don't think that the boy released that video. Somebody you know, else saying clout chasing as in just not telling the full story. Like he didn't tell the full story. The pastor came back and said, "Well, you know, I've had several conversations." I'm like, mm-hmm. "Oh, okay." So that, that, meaning that, that doesn't church. make him right. Meaning but he that wasn't his time, first right? time. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, the pastor also stated that the boy said he was he wanted to help him conform back to his masculinity. Okay, that's but, what my mindset said. But uh, here's the problem that I have with, with all wrong. of it. The problem still that I wrong. got is that we are so caught up. Well, excuse me. Certain people are so caught up in the flesh that they forget about the spirit. Yeah, the soul. flesh is definitely going to pass right. away. The clothes are going to pass away, mm-hmm. honey. When we are ripped from this place, if we are believers in what in Christ or God or whatever it is that we believe, well, any religion, the soul and the body are going to separate from each other. That's right. Ain't going to be no clothes. So what you you coming to church for the word? I feel it was personal for me. that's where I say the pastor's. It's the same said, way I feel so about. He said he felt like he was being challenged. So it wasn't spiritual. Kids? It was a good question. Kids? It wasn't spiritual. It was the pastor felt like you challenging me because we've had this conversation. But for so I'm me, gonna, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Yeah, he I was do wrong. believe it was that. He was wrong. I do believe he was <laughs> wrong. But what I. Oh, woman. I need to clear my throat here. You had to clear your throat. <laughs> <laughs> but but what I do believe is that you know, like I said on the show, mm-hmm. for us as LBGT people, and Lynn as being the special spirit, we wear what we are on the outside. Amen. So what we are, what we are. In, according to biblical terms, is we're in sin. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we wear our sins on the outside, and uh, there are a lot of people that walk, that sit up there in the pool, in the church. You even can't see it. You can't see it because they're dressed you in a suit. You can't see the hole. You can't see. You it. can't see the hole. Liar. You, you can't, can't see, see the liar. You can't see the thief. Yeah. You can't see the backbiter. You can't see the murderer. You can't see it. But you can see the homosexual. So we're gonna target mm-hmm. you. So we will. We will be able to single that out. That'll be. That'll be an easy way to single that out. 
So and what, it's so, sad. So what if the man, if they would have walked in there, and you know when you go into church, you got to take your hat off. You know what I mean? You know how when you There's walk in church, churches that like that too that will make you. you I don't you walk, get into none of that. In I, just, I feel on. the church is expecting people to come to church saved. They got it backwards. Right. Yeah. Why are you thinking that people are supposed to come right. here, conform so, right. the way that you think they Cause should? Because they want a certain look for their church. Yeah, yeah, that's what it, I think. The, it I really that, think though. the pastor yeah. was embarrassed socially about what people were saying about what he was allowing. He was more so caught up into a, the social aspect of I'm not gonna let you come in my church and do. But this. listen, it's the same way it was with known shoe wearing ass Kim Burrell, who I don't like to oh, this day. Home. The thing about it is with that. They come from personal places. Well, they always speak about us, us having agendas. When they come from personal places, mm -hmm. because in the in, in in last year was it last year the year before? I don't know. Her. She got shut down, and yes. she, it started from her running into Ooh. a queen. Well, and let, the queen was clean, like, "Yeah, I'm probably gonna get backlash because I know her." Your assistant, your right hand man that you travel with, because I got into it with my family members, my yeah. my uncles a bishop, and they're close. Mm -hmm. Okay. But your right hand man that you bring with you to all these churches is a queen, and he works under you. So I'm I'm lost at how you are so disgusted. Well, murder. you were well, you and were disgusted it, because as a because she because they said she fell out with him, and that's how. That's but how sometimes really as a star, star like but sometimes as stars, preacher. people you know you run into a lot of people that want to see you public, and you know a lot of people that they don't care if you're tired or whatever. Which 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 it comes with that comes <laughs> with the territory. Mm -hmm. So she she was she was like I'm just so sick of these sis this because I watched the story prior to mm -hmm. to you know the situation I watched the whole sermon before I was wearing before I laid into those roots mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying before I laid into that scalp right I watched the whole thing and and the whole thing she said <laughs> that she was out and there was a she ran into a mm -hmm. and she was like the she was so tired of them saying, yes, I'm going to get that. I'm going to pray that spirit, that demon out. And my thing is, girl, not all of a sudden it's a demon because you done ran out of two of all these queens and stuff buying your music and, and, the, and the things. It's just like that stuff work, works my nerves. Mm -hmm. And just like this, nigga, you look like David Banner. And I feel like as a gay community, we're more supportive than any, than anybody. I feel like when it doesn't come from a place of love, God exposes it and lets them know that this wasn't me. You missed the mark. You see how she had to take a break from social media. She missed her platform with Ellen. So she had to get taken down to realize, baby, you sin just like they sin. Come back and be humble. Right. She didn't post on Instagram for months. Baby, listen, you know, you know she disappeared. God, God forgive me, but you know I set that off. Yeah, she disappeared. I set that off. I Kim Burrells. I set that off, and I know you know I set it off. I set that off that night because I was the first one that made a video, the very first one video digging into her, clawing into her back. You better know, bitch. <laughs> clawing into Cast her back, ho. And then everybody else after that started making videos about it. And I, I said, you know what, man? I'm not even doing anything with this man right here because you know, for me, I'm just so tired of the gays trying to get into the church, girl. Mm -hmm. so, I get so tired of the gays getting into church. And, and, and we will sit there and let those people devastate and fry us just to be like, yes, God, yeah, ain't nobody over here that I know for a fact that's eating cocks from the back gonna tell me what my place, what, or what seat that I got in heaven or hell. Nobody. I, I get my thing home. is, why didn't he offer another way? You want me to dress like a man? Did you, offer to buy, did you offer to buy him suits? Did you offer to buy him clothes? Hell no. Did you offer to be a mentor to show you him that? Y'all like like, like, want people to be a certain way, but you ain't teaching them or showing them the yeah. way. Can you come back? I give church my home. Show me how to be a man. I give church my Just home. like your dad. Dad shows us how to give me. If this is what you want me to be, and this is what. First of all, this, this is what I want to be. And another thing. Then show me the way. We can't help being gay. It's, it's something that's a part of us. It I feel through. like people can be born gay. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, saying. listen. Let's open up the phone lines mm -hmm. while we got them open. This is Jamel. Do we have any people waiting on the line? Mine was taken from a crowd. Yeah, you got a phone. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. take a first call. So a lot of kids be like, Come on in, ho. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Smith Madison and special guest Lynn. What's your name? When you call him from the just not the next letter. Who are you calling? Is you live, boy? Is you live? Is you live? Do you see that glitter? Yes, man. Hey, man. Hey, Maddie. Hey, boy. Hey. 
I'm calling from Tampa, Florida. My name is Jay Babe. What's up? I just want to touch base with Lynn. What's up, Lynn? Lynn baby, when I say you can't. Lynn, you came in, baby. You show up, then you show up. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even play, Lynn. I'm talking about show to whole natural motherfucking ass. <laughs> Authentic yeah, over here. I'm living for you. Oh, hell, baby, you was giving me 50 of teas from Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah. It's love. Your hands love. Thank you, time. baby. Thank you. Thank Listen, you. you see, uh, we, we I have... I really have nothing to talk about on the board. Listen, we had rules that Fetcher need to come on back to the Housewives of Atlanta. We Thanks. Yeah. We Thanks. Want, I want... Fetcher. Listen, I, I want Fetcher I, to come I, on I back. I want to miss Shane I want her to come back. I want to... I mean, like, she, you know, she was thinking as a rock from, from hell. You know, but she can come on back and do that fake old shit she do. You scamming ass bitch. Yeah, we, we need the queen to say we need her back. We need yeah, she was a back. scamming ass bitch for real. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lynn, Ooh, you, yeah, said, you know how the problem was in them drawers? They was in there. He was, he was, was, was like, know what was going digging on. Digging up in her asshole. <laughs> Yeah, but they said you I was the outside waiting. Great job tonight. Keep up the good work. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Leah. They said you was outside her house waiting on the Paulus to come out. I was, girl. No, Paula was in jail when I went by her house. But well, what was you going by her house? For? I just want to see where the bitch lived at. Yeah, bitch. I was by your motherfucking house. <laughs> I want to see where your motherfucker lived at, home. <laughs> yeah. I drove right at that corner sack circle, girl. Leah. She was on her way to a party. Oh, she was on her way to a party. To a party, girl. Did you follow her to the party, Liz? I Googled that bitch house, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I showed sure did, girl. Oh, my God. I Googled that bitch house. She said she Googled, bitch. <laughs> I know <sure> did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamel, let's take the next call. All right. All right, call out 8142. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Pierce Madison and special guest Lynn. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's your judgment on tonight's measure? Go ahead, call over a minute. Pierce Madison. What's up, babe? Hey, it is Ray Robinson. Uh, what's up, Ray? Oh, my God. Ray, what's going on? Why, why, baby? Pierce Madison, listen, you have been my name all long on your live show. Yes, right, because y'all been seeing your name popping up. You you love me. I love when I'm loved. I am love. Yeah. Love. I love you, Madison. It's Brandon McLeod. What's up, Brandon? What's going on? Oh, 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 we, got a, we got a Scottish man, a Scottish black man, McLeod, honey. McLeod, honey. <laughs> From Scotland. This is Pierce Madison. What? I'm just going to say, man, you remember me from Nuff Lake Mall. Lynn, I, I, I commend you for representing Charlotte North Carolina the way you did. You and MC Busy, you and MC Busy have represented North Carolina so tremendously tonight. I appreciate it and I love it. Thank you, love. Thank you. Yes. Oh, this was a Charlotte night tonight, baby. Yeah. 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 I am going to meet you one day. You are. I'm coming to Charlotte. Listen, Busy say he gonna talk to somebody down man. there, child. Charlotte gotta put, gotta give us a venue so we can bring the Queen's Supreme Court down there. <laughs> 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 Supreme. Listen, listen, listen. I love you. 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 Shout out to Busy. Um, man, you a woman. The woman, man. Woman. Woman. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. All right, I love you. All right, baby. Okay. All right. Come mm -hmm. on, Jamel. Leah, don't stick. Don't, right, don't bite right. down too hard on there. You may fuck right. right. that pickle up. Right. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Tears Madison and Special Guest Lynn. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on the next pleasure? Go ahead, call her. Operator. 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 Get my baby on the line. Well, you know he got a pickle. <laughs> uh <-huh>. And <laughs> I put it in his mouth. <laughs> when I scream. <laughs> <laughs> you made that song in. Say, Liz. Liz, say, Liz, say. it. I on my mind. Uh -huh. The only thing I was when it's juicing in my mouth, I scream. <laughs> 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 
Oh, what's up, babe? Man, I'm just a huge fan. I did watch you uh, you that you had your boomer service. Oh, yes. Yes, you honey. Yes, I do. Man, you got to break that back. Well, y'all got to talk. Listen, y'all got to talk to Wild Presents because, you know, they, they in L.A. But I'm going to be out of L.A. all a, a bunch of times next year, baby. All year I'm going to be in L.A. Damn near. Tonight's docket was amazing. It was funny. It was. It's always, it's always funny. It's always funny. And I always listen to the podcast when I go to sleep. So yeah. I keep the bike when I go to sleep. Oh, Lord. Oh, listen now. Look, listen, these sit the, listen it's like the blood still works. It will never <laughs> lose its power. <laughs> Who the hell in the back there is famous? That's a woman back there. A woman. A woman. A woman. A woman. Hashtag a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, baby. You are the business. You are the business. I see your Instagram. I see you with a dick lollipop. <laughs> Liz, I gum them down, baby. Dude, you, Liz, Liz says she gum them down, mama. You know? Liz says she gum them down, Miss Mary. She don't. Oh, 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 Liz, no. Oh, vanished. Oh. Got to go. <laughs> you got to go. A woman. A woman. A woman. What is it, baby? <laughs> what is the greatest advice someone has ever given you? Well, the greatest advice that I've been taught by my own mother was treat treat others like like you want people to be treat, treat you. Amen. And you know, and Ooh. all and all and my mother has always taught me, she's always taught me that you cannot get anything into a closed hand. Mm-hmm. Always give, give, give. You know, you are blessed to people. You inspire people with the imagination. So I'm proud of you. Do God is going to show out and so forth. Thank you, baby. I need that. Thank you, baby. Amen. Amen. Thank you, love. No Thank you, boo. You too. I love all my folks. You hear me? Ain't man, they better do it. Come through. Lynn, you made a song. You made that song about a pickle. They need to do me a song about a pickle. I don't ask me about pickles, honey. I need a song. Can't rap one for them. Hello, my love. This is Miss Dina from New Jersey. What's Dina? up, Dina? So we can bump, bump on through the night to the early morning. And we can boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Yes, we've been on the road, Dina. Daddy. What's up, Dina? We've been on the road, baby. We've been on the road, honey. I know. Hi, Jamal. How you doing, sweetie? Hey, baby. I'm good. We That's be- good. And hi, I'm Lynn Spirit. How are you? I've never been acquainted with you, but I've seen you on Instagram. And um, uh, you guys were wonderful tonight. Thank you. Did Thank you enjoy you. Lynn? You enjoyed her? Yeah, you know what? Maddie, I enjoy all your shows. I, I mean, let me tell you something. You know how to entertain. And, and people, if anybody comes there, they have to have fun. I know they have to have oh, fun. Oh, baby, listen, we going to have fun up in this house, honey. Cause that's... I know, let me tell you. That show you guys did, that last one, where you picked that girl up. Oh, and her hey, you girl in the tight top skirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I laughed. I felt just like I was there. Oh my God, yes. Y'all was a ball. We, we had a very good time. Well, DC show. Listen, I love the DMV. Listen, Baltimore was great. DC was huge. Like and people, I know your and, people love you. We we love you. And, and I love, love y'all. And you know I love my people. So girl, I get mad when people don't treat my people the right way. Yeah, yeah, I know you let them have it about how they had a, they had a party. That's and right. Don't know. be having no. Party. <laughs> You know, but I guess I, I you know, I, it, it was a lot of miscommunications and things like that. I ain't mad yeah, at them. I, I, I still love the folks, but I just have to let them know. Don't you happen my peoples that way? <laughs> that well, way. Let me know you, I only got a minute, and I don't want Jamel to hang up on me. Wait. Okay. The only thing I wanted to say that show tonight was amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
come as you are, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Correct. I, I do believe that. But I'm if just... That's why... Huh? I'm just tired of us trying to fit in with them. We don't got to. Yeah. It's got our own yeah, you, 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 you're right, but I, I mean, it's just ridiculous that people just take the Bible and use it for their own purpose. You know, they use it for their own venue. As a weapon. The Bible's like a slap in the face. <laughs> As a weapon. You shouldn't be gay. <laughs> exactly. well, you should be a pastor. We suck a dick. Then you're what? What? Suck a dick. Ain't none of us perfect. I don't have some pastors suck my dick. Oh God, so much. Oh, can, can, but I ain't gonna call you out because I could. Don't you do no, Pastor James like, like that? that. <laughs> I want to say hi to my folks that I love so much. Thank you, baby. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you. Yeah, you know I love you, Maddie. Okay? I love you, baby. And you guys have a good night and a wonderful week. You too, baby. You too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Huh? All right, next caller. Caller. Next caller. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show which just cheers and that has been a special guest for me. What's your name? Where are you calling from and what's your judgment? Go ahead, call her. I Hello? Hello? Hi. How are you? Wait a minute, Leah. Oh, yeah. Leah, wait a minute. What you say? Hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Leah, wait. What happened? What you say? Hi. Come on, Guala. Come on through. Hi. Hello. 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 I'm Timothy. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys, it's me! <laughs> Hi! God Hello guys! You. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Timothy and Lynn! Excuse me, Timothy and Marcus! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! God damn you! It's me and Marcus! <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Timothy and Marcus! Hi guys! Yes. You know, you're on the line! I'm a dog <laughs> You're on the line with Timothy and Marcus! <laughs> Is there any questions for us? Oh my god! Guys! 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 Hi, you're on the line with Timothy and Marcus! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do about you. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> the caller's gone. Let her go, Jamil. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! Timothy and Marcus! <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> All right, guys, that's been our show with Timothy and Marcus. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> go on to the next call. How many more calls we got, Jamel? You have like eight more. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi, Manny. Hi, Manny. Hello. Hey, baby, how you Hi, doing? Hi, Manny and Lynn. Y'all, how are oh, you? Y'all crazy. How are you? Yeah, so, you know we gonna have a good time. We having a good time tonight. I know y'all. Uh, uh, this is Free Buddha calling from the Motor City. Yes, the Motor uh, City. Uh, That's Detroit. Yes, baby. I thought you said Motor. I'm doing good. <laughs> That's Detroit, baby. I, uh, yeah. Well, listen, I see maybe you know. Oh yes. I don't know. Listen, Leah, you got to have the Lear. norm. Leah? Hey, baby. I, I, hey, baby. I, Lynn, I absolutely adore you. Thank you. you. Are so sweet. I, I've been watching your uh, channel, watching your transformation stuff. And Thank you, love. You're such a wonderful job. <laughs> and I'm so glad for how, for your come up, how you've been coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm really uh, so happy for you. But, Maddie, you are a big girl. Thank you, baby. And what I, I did. I just love you because... You what I did. Sing, uh, you stand up for the community like nobody else, and I really appreciate you for that. Yes. So much. And, you know, and I, I commend you for uh, being a, such a trailblazer, because uh, a lot of people 
will not stand up for some of the things that you do. And not and only I, that, I and not only that, sister, I, I I just feel like too. Girl, honey, I just want the people to know no matter how many times you get knocked down, get up and keep going. That's right. That's right, baby. Now, I want to touch on um, uh, on that uh, minister situation. Okay. Um, that minister, uh, she was late to minister. He didn't say she. Correct. Uh, David Banner. That, that is not how you do a child of God. You don't tell a child like that. Now, the problem is, a lot of these churches are not equipped to handle the children. Mm-hmm. They don't have the training in order to handle the children. Because if they did, if they did, they wouldn't treat them that way. Correct. You know, if if he was to do it the right way, he would. He would have took the uh, the young woman out into the vestibule and talked to her about the situation. And secondly, I would wait for him to explain to the sister what the hell is a real man. Mm. A real man wouldn't act like that. Mm. What is what is a real man? I, I met real men. Down to history, uh, gay men and lesbian men and gay women and uh, lesbian women have been taking care of the heterosexual community down to the years. We have been taking care of their children and their bitches. We have been doing so much for the heterosexual community down here. So you tell me who are, who really is the real men and the real women? Right. You right about that. You know because we, they, they, we done raised more more kids than anybody else in, in this in this world. You right about more, that. No more more heterosexual men that came to us because they didn't have no job, so they they leaned on us for them, us to help them. Right. Damn. So I mean, you know, he is the true man. What is what's a true man? What's the definition of a you true know? man? That's the that. Of a true man. Yes. That's it. That's what I really want to know. You know, and what's the definition of a true woman? You know, let's let's get down to let's get the, uh, the, really the depth of that. Because I tell I tell some men on, on a regular basis, look, honey, anytime you can lay down and take, you know, on top of uh-huh. uh, I don't know how you do your show, man. Oh, but you can be as vulgar as you want to. Lynn Vogel, you didn't see okay. Lynn eating that, eating that pickle? Vogel and authentic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lynn famous for that pickle thing, honey. But uh, anytime you can lay down and take a uh, dick and get up and walk away from that dick, that's that, me. That's the man. Okay. Don't tell me what, you know, what, what, what uh, a true man is not. Anytime you can and take the pressure that you have to take on from day to day, not only being black and not only being gay and dealing with that and do your job and do what you need to do or being trans yeah. and do all that, oh, that's a man. If you want to see yourself a man, but if you're a woman, you want me to understand. Right. Don't, don't come to me with that. Right. I get you it. Know, that's what I, I want to sit up and ask them to hunt you. What is a, what is really, what is the best What is a real man? man? No, because she like she was about nine months pregnant. She did look like she was nine months pregnant, honey, with that, clothes, with, that Dave, with that date with that David Banner beard going. Shirt all tucked out. Like he don't hear him with these ass. Man, we want to get up and do a walk a flock of bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow, bow. That is not a man of God. It, 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 it does that. But that's, I would challenge everybody to think about that. If somebody can really come up with a true definition of a man, and if he, if he could even come up with that, then it would solve the whole situation on, 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 that, on that day. But he yeah. couldn't come up with it. He, he, he didn't have an idea what a true definition of a man. Because a true definition of a man would have not done that. It no. would have not hollered that baby no, like that in that church. That's right. Okay, okay. Thank I you, love y'all, y'all folks. Thank love you, y'all. baby. Thank you, you too. Thank you very much. And I got real men. Okay. He flirted with me, but you know, he had right, right, right there. Call her, call her, yeah, nine, 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 I'm doing fine. My Wonderful. Name is Jonathan, and I'm coming from Eden, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. Eden. That's Eden. That's Eden. And Long I'm down. calling for, um, <laughs> for Lynn. <laughs> about the, um, 
Man was preaching. The what, baby? I was calling about the man that was preaching, um, David Banner. Oh, yeah, David Banner. David Banner. Uh, that wasn't the preacher name, yeah, but... I was calling about him. I think he was wrong when he done. Okay. <laughs> hey, Quartry. So you say he was He was. He was definitely wrong for me. <laughs> Yeah, he was wrong, and plus, I go to church, uh, I have a lady pastor, and she accepts for people who they are and what they come come like, and, uh, I'm nervous, sorry. <laughs> Don't be nervous, baby, be good, be, be, be all thinking, speak your mind. Okay, this is my first time doing this. Um, first time for everything, for all the guys. Stop screaming, Jamel! Oh, you make me think this is a woman back you know, there screaming. You know, that, that's what the download said. Jamel! <laughs> Thank you. I love you, baby. That's Jamel. That's Jamel over there, got that thing screaming in the background. Jamel, stop screaming that thing in the background! <laughs> that's what the deal said. But go ahead, baby. Go ahead, speak your mind. I have a question about the, um, the mystery. The Republican, mm -hmm. that place y'all was going go to, I was wondering yeah. how much is it? Which one is it, baby? Dominican Republic? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. And so the deposit is 150 I think it's eight ninety nine. Like, I don't handle any of that. None of the credit card, none of the monies. I don't handle any of that. Allegra, Allegra handles that, and we put all of the information in the yeah. In the this link. is just the Supreme right. Court, you know, after show. <laughs> Question. Lynn, don't do that. <laughs> I just play. I just play. I just play with you. <laughs> yeah, so it's like Craig. Craig posted. Craig had posted the stuff there. He he posted it there in the uh, in the comment section. So, Link in the bio. <laughs> Jamel, why is you got this thing screaming? But anyway, um. I love you, babe. I'm just messing with you. Lynn, I'm a big fan of yours too. Thank you, baby. I love you. I'm just messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Link in the bio. Uh, Thank you, Carla. Other question is uh, about that girl was running from them dogs. Uh -huh. Crazy. Listen, you ain't never had no dog run you down. God. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? That's your man doing that. Wait, was that the girl with the dog screaming like that? That's your man doing that. Yeah. Next case. <laughs> you ain't never had no dog. You ain't never had no dog run you down. <laughs> All right, baby, we love you, baby. Next case. <laughs> Y'all can't do them people like that. We we love you. We do. We do, baby. Next case. <laughs> Hello? 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 
Nick Cage. Nick Cage! All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, call us 291 for you up. Go ahead. I'll ask your question. That's not like Bob. It's Bob. Hello. Go ahead, call him. Go ahead, call him. Um, my name is Jay Iris. I am from Texas. How y'all doing? Hey, How Texas. Doing? Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. I am doing so fine. I just want to address the thing with the churches and stuff. Um, well, I just want to say that it is so crazy to me how so many people like to bash a community that they don't know so much about. They don't know what we go through as a community. They don't know what people say to us as we walk out of our homes. They don't know what we go through on a daily basis. And it's so crazy to me because it is children out here who are so afraid to even come out and express themselves for who they are because they are afraid that people are going to bash them and they're going to talk about them and they're going to just do foul things to them and they're, they're afraid because if no one out here telling the children it's okay to be you, it's okay to be who you want to be, it's people out here that want to tell them this is wrong, this is sin, God doesn't like this, God says love all people for who they are. Yes, he did. Yeah, and it's not... It's not, it's not up to the pastor. It's up, I like us as a community to be gotten the ones that want to come out there and meet them. Too. Right. And as a community, as a LGBT community, we should be we should be coming together and helping people, help build people up, not break people down. Instead of bashing, we and the main ones that bash each other. It's crazy to me. It's Right, and there's so much going on in this world. Like, we should be coming together as one to fight this war that's going on instead of breaking each other down and breaking Amen. each other apart. But that's but what it's, I gotta say. It starts with you. It starts with you, though. You know that, right? It starts with you as a person. As an individual. Right. Did y'all put, put ice in Liz's water? <laughs> <laughs> Starting now. Starting right now. Next case. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you, Carla. Oh, call her, call her, call her, 6524. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Tiff Madison and special guest from What's your name? What are you calling from? What's your judgment? Call it, call it. Is you live? 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 I cannot believe I got through. Jamal, my question is to you as well. Why are you getting regularly mad? He got to do his thing. He got to do his thing. He got to do his thing, child. I can't, you know. They got to do that. I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to speak on this real quick. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's the Lord and his that you want to go like when you raised up that way is you want to go to the church you know so I get it I get it you single can we, can we be honest with ourselves like we all got a grandparent or somebody that looks just like that man that was saying the same stuff you know what I'm yeah. saying so what was his name I mean we, we just turned up the line not to us for so long but it's oh, been there I mean we yeah. know that and, but, and, but this is why Jamel I keep saying we should start trying to force ourselves in the door like that. Yeah, don't go. I go to a non-denomination of church. They got gay churches. They do, but I go to a non-denomination of church that's open to everybody, black, white, right. Hispanic. I go to the Miami Vineyards. That's the only time I get to church. Big dick, that, small dick, little dick, it don't matter. It don't matter. You are accepted. It is accepted. With teeth or no teeth. You are accepted, authentic. 
Are you single? How you look? <laughs> Liz say how you look, babe. Liz say you gotta. Liz say how you look, babe. Liz say how you look. She said she done pulled her teeth out. Is you ready? She said that voice so deep she got her teeth in the jaw right now. Woo! Let's <laughs> cave. Next cave. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Is that it? Is that it, Jamel? No. All right, the conference has been locked. Okay, how many? Oh, uh, we're not gonna have seven minutes. We're gonna have time for seven because we already done went. It's, it's about to close out. So we could probably take one more call. We could probably take one more call. Make it good. Okay. All right. Okay, boy. Call the 9278. You up? Oh, hello? You can speak okay? Okay. Speak right. up, baby. Call you up. <laughs> Hi. Carla? Speak up, Carla. Hi, guys. It's Marcus and Tim. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you be speaking? Hello? Hi. Hi. Jeez. I really don't have a question. I just wanted to just more so say how much I love you. I just watched your show for so much inspiration. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Yeah, Thank you very much. <laughs> We need a question. Thank you very much, baby. Thank Next you. Game. Oh. Thank you very much for, for calling me in, baby. Thank you. Oh my God. We love you, baby. We need we need a question, but next case. Sorry, Hello. Hello? Hello? She'll be able to see you tomorrow. Hi, baby. Hello. Oh. <laughs> this is Supreme Court. What? <laughs> What's your question, Carla? You said no question. <laughs> Hello? Next case. Next case. All right, Nick. Okay, y'all. All right, it's cold. We're going to go ahead. Hello? Oh, okay. oh, come on, girl. Come on, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. Push that. Push that. Hello? Epidore out. Come Hello? On. Hello? Hi. Oh, she wants us to do, she wants us hello. Hello? 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 Okay, are you speaking to me? Yes, yes. we're speaking Nobody to you. Oh my God, I'm sorry, it's very hard because you can hear everybody and you don't know if you... All right, get to your question though. <laughs> at the same time. Hi, Hi baby, how you doing? I'm sorry. I'm doing great, and I wanted to let you guys know, first of all, I love both of you guys very much. You're really funny. You're what just, you, but what's your people. question, though? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to shoot through this really fast. What's your okay, question, okay, so though? You everything. <laughs> I used to be a missionary in a church. I gave one of my missionary life to I have really, you know, studied and stuff. People who are feeling rejected from the church really need to look into the history of the Bible and this, that, and the other. It might bring them some comfort because the Bible's been changed many times already. Yes. Okay? Yes. It's not the same thing that it used to be. And I was a very unusual, you know, how I was raised by my grandparents. They told me to learn, to look back into it and judge for myself. Yes. Okay? Yes. So I offer that to anyone who is gay, transgender, anything else, to really look into the history because a lot of it wasn't even translated right for me. Okay? So that's a whole other topic. Right. Because I did. Yeah. I did. That's yourself. I did read some stuff like the other day. The other day, I don't mean to cut Wait, you off. I'm sorry. I was reading something about. Okay, y'all, please, don't, y'all don't, mm-hmm. y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't judge me. Mm-hmm. I I just was watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I want to oh, I, I was no, I, no. <laughs> I was just watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch on Netflix. The new I want one, that and it, it is so <laughs> it is so dark. Darkness. And so satanic, and I was really watching. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I, it was, I was really cringing watching it. Uh-huh. Not, like no shade, I was uh-huh. cringing watching. Now I watched the entire season, and then at, at the end, when they were talking about 
the lady with well, the lady at the end of the bad teacher that 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 you what, know how to go deep evil. Yeah, mm-hmm. she was Lilith. So I went and looked up Lilith, and then I was reading Lilith was supposed to be the first wife of Adam before Eve. Mm-hmm. So I went and like, well, is yes. this? So I was like, well, is this biblical or not? And then I went and I I googled and I went to looking at all the different translations of Lilith in the book. From Hebrew yes. to... Lilith, yes, Lilith was the first wife of Adam, and there's a lot of people don't even know that. And she was tossed mm-hmm. out for saying she wasn't going to obey Adam. Yeah, and so when, I read, when I was reading that, I was like, oh, this isn't, this is slightly biblical. It's in there. It, it, I was like, oh, this is yes. slightly biblical. Then there's like, the Apocrypha, which a whole bunch of books yes. that were left out. That were there's published. a lot of, you know what one of the biggest mistakes in the Bible is? They won't, they won't correct it, and it has been looked into, proven, and translated. Tell me. It is Moses parted the Red Sea. Mm. It's not red, it's read. R-E-E-D. And they will not fix it now. But that that's a whole other thing. So that's the one thing I want to say. Because I had a cousin who was, was gay and was so scared to tell my aunt that he didn't even go for treatment when he caught AIDS and died at, like, 19. Okay, so it's just so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous, you know, that they put this much pressure on people behind religion and everything else to be themselves, okay? So that makes me mad. And, Lynn, I want to tell you I love you so much. I like watching you. You have so much strength. And you are so hilarious and Thank just you. beautiful and stuff. I love your makeup and everything. And Lynn, you you're a what? I hate how you oh, don't my. ever answer my questions back. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have so many people watching you and everything and stuff. And I, I just love watching you perform and stuff. And you had a problem with a young boy who was saying some, you know, really foul stuff to you. I put that bitch out there. Answer a child back who's saying foul stuff because they will always blame it on the Yeah, my my manager said don't do that, but you know, fuck these children. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you what you give me. Don't ever do it because if you respond back, it's something twisted all around. That's the petty in me. I I shouldn't do that, uh, but you know, hell, shit. Yes, or Max, you know, I would love to see you have uh, Jaguar Evermore on your show. You know, because I think you two together would be hilarious. I love Jaguar Evermore. But Jaguar lives in California, right? Don't she live in California? Yeah, I love her. She's yeah, so funny. Think, She's think, so think, funny think to me. If you ever did a show down there, the two of you guys together would tear the place down. Listen, okay? let me tell you something. When Jaguar I mean, put that, you. when she put that Mexican man up there, and he says, I like big dick. <laughs> I love a big crazy. dick. Water. She is Girl. very you authentic. She got busted last week. See, I don't know. I didn't know. Play, I found out. I like a big dick. When I tell you she puts that video oh my out God, there. His wife found out. Oh, the, the his Spanish. His wife found out last week. The oh Mexican man. Oh, Jesus. How long been fucking you? I yes. Months. Yes. Jesus. But anyhow, I'm not going to hold you up. I'm sure you had a long evening. I just wanted to get a chance to speak with both of you guys and tell you how much I love you. Thank and you, love. And the people out there who are in the gay community, Ooh. LGBT, oh, you know, and stuff. <laughs> Don't let the religious and stuff to... You know, hold you down. That's a book. And anything, and this, this is what my grandparents taught me, basically, okay? Anything that man touches, he will twist and corrupt for himself. Oh. That's Ooh. it. And that's the word. And we're going to leave Good out night, on that man. word. Thank you for All coming right, in, Carla. We ain't got that much time left on the thing. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I'm going to upload this to YouTube in just a moment. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thank you love for tuning in so to the much. show. Lynn, thank you for coming. Welcome. Our show tonight was sponsored by Ski Toys Boiling Pot, honey. And I'm about to go ahead and warm this up and wet this turkey out. And baby, it's creamy in a pussy's way. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Good night. Bye. Bye.